the principles are what would you call these systems rubrics for making decisions based on inputs or is that too basic well that's good um i would say um recipes um in other words um we encounter things and everything has happened before many times um and so through those encounters they're sort of our recipes for success. When you're in this situation, what should you do? Um, you can go get them from others. You can come up with them yourself. Uh, one, uh, what I did um, in my early days of running uh, Bridgewater is uh, reflect on what I was doing. And I also uh, took, uh, took videos of it and had everybody sit, take videos of themselves th 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 doing whatever thing. But most importantly, I reflected on what principles I would use for certain circumstances. I wrote them down and I shared them with the people I worked with and shared my life with. And then I said, would you handle it the same way? Would you use the same principle? So we went from individual cases of things happening and decisions to reflecting on what recipes would you use for certain circumstances. And so I would say they're recipes for different circumstances. And every everybody has principles, every successful person, if you were to say, how does, you know, how did Steve Jobs do things? He he would, he's got the actions he took in certain circumstances, or he'd take anybody, a Nobel Prize winner or something. And you want those principles. So I wrote down mine. I think it's important that people have the, their own. And I think it would be good for people to exchange principles and say, um, so I'm pulling them out also of other accomplished people um, so that, uh, and we're going to have on that principles in action, we're going to have um, it, the possibility that people can search for the most appreciated principles for the circumstances they face going to, or they could say, who are, what are Bill Gates's principles or XYZ principles? Um, and then you could do that. And it also makes it easy for people in that app to write down their own principles and then have easy access with them. So that's what principles are recipe for success of how you'd handle certain circumstances. So we classify situations into a type so we know how to handle it and we aren't re reacting every time we see these like we're seeing it for the first time. Exactly. It's like, what species is it? Okay, what species of thing is it? Okay, now that I've identified that species, how do I best handle that species to get the best results? You, you've said my success has more to do with how I handle what I don't know than what I do know. And that comes from the principles, right? You see something and you say, like you said, it's a species. All right. I've seen these elements of this problem or situation before. Therefore, these principles apply. Therefore, we know more or less how to handle this, or at least we have a start. We're not just panicking and running around in circles trying to figure out what's going on for the first half. Well, I, I'd like to separate those two parts. Um... The principles are, again, learn from wherever you can the best ways to handle things. But the first point, which is whatever success I've had in life, has had more to do with my knowing how to deal with what I don't know than anything I know, um, is just a reality, which is uh, what any person can know is only a small fraction of the best thinking, the best knowing that exists. And so being trapped in one's head and thinking that you necessarily have the right answer or the best answer for handling something is to almost intentionally be blind. And so when you deal with how do I get the best knowledge, or even when you think, what don't I know and how do I deal with not knowing well? For example, diversifying. Let's the, like... You can hold a portfolio and you can have an opinion about what thing is going to do well and what's going to do poorly, and you can be wrong. So knowing that you can be wrong means how do I diversify well in a way where it doesn't lessen my returns, but it lessens my risk. So thinking about what you don't know 
and how to deal with that well is incredibly effective in being able to be successful. Usually, and I, th I think you touched on this earlier, usually we get our principles or often we get our principles elsewhere, maybe from our parents, other structures. But if we don't examine these principles and make them our own, we may act in ways that are not in alignment with our goals and objectives. And I, I, because we're taking our principles from other people with different goals and different objectives. So how do you go about making the principles your own? Or how do we, how do we know if something if a principle we have is even in alignment with our own goals. Obviously, we have to define our goals first. Reflecting. Okay. Um, when you encounter something, think for yourself. Reflect. Um, I have an expression. Uh, pain plus reflection equals progress. I believe that... Um, um, you're in that situation, right? When you have pain, something's wrong. It probably reflects how reality works or your realities. And if you can reflect in a quality way on how reality works and how you should interact with it most reflectively, m most effectively, you will develop a principle, write it down, for moving ahead. And so I think it's that reflection, reflecting process. You may choose not to do that. I mean, I think that's the best because it aligns you with your principles. People have those different preferences, but it's knowing how to reflect well. And I think, by the way, I should mention that I think that meditation is a, a terrific thing that helps people calm themselves down and um and you know gain uh, an equanimity and um helps them go more into a thoughtful reflective mode and escape some of the emotional hijackings that they have